The world is very ancient, and human origins are mysterious and obscure. We try to decipher our past based upon the multiple layers of civilizations whose ruins lay strewn across the planet like pieces of an archaic jigsaw puzzle. Humanity has required eons for physical and mental development to evolve into its relatively sophisticated modern state. What do you think? Have you ever wondered just how long it has taken human evolution to unfold? Have you accepted what you were told at school or believed what adamant biblical scholars have declared? Or have you gone along with modern science's authority? How can we consider a longer time frame for history which ultimately conceals the greatest puzzles of existence and the mystery of the human soul? The intention of the Hidden History of Humanity project is to re-establish the correct chronology and timelines for human history. So, to establish the correct chronology and the understanding of the root races, how humanity came into being, and how the evolution of consciousness proceeded from there is going to empower humanity with knowing the truth. Humanity is having the truth hidden from it at this point in time, but it is actually emerging. We have light emerging, we have truth emerging, and this is happening exoterically in parallel with this esoteric emergence of, of the Ageless Wisdom teachings. The secret history of the world is revealed in many traditions, the duration of which far surpasses the minuscule figures used in modern times. In the denial or ignorance of its true origins lies the source of disempowerment for humanity. In not knowing its divine source, the nature of the human soul, and the very lengthy evolution of human consciousness. There are several keys to the mysteries, past, present, and future, of the seven great root races and the seven great cycles. Every symbol and allegory is said to have seven keys, the seven keys to the entrance of the door of the mysteries, and that each key must be turned seven times. Mythology is one of the great keys to studying the mysteries because the mysteries are encoded in mythology, in Greek mythology, in Scandinavian mythology, in mythology of all traditions. Like music, mythology is one of the great universal languages that we can understand and which anyone can tap into quite easily for, for understanding the archetypes of the gods that are described in the various stories. Hence, we can see the sources of the ageless wisdom or perennial philosophy that lay hid in universal mythology and religion. The same or similar stories are told in all cultures, indicating the consistency and veracity of these ancient stories within the collective consciousness of humanity. The spiritual path is one of forever peeling back layers of illusion and the mystery of human evolution is one of the greatest secrets yet to be fully revealed. The Buddha said, veil after veil will fall, but veil after veil remains. Now, humanity's next phase of penetrating the veil of Maya is to understand just exactly how old it is. Revitalizing the truths of this existing paradigm of the science of cycles is another purpose of the Hidden History of Humanity project. It is an inherent part of the ancient wisdom of several cultures, part of our racial memory that we can all intuitively tap into, recognize, and understand. The Yuga cycles of the Hindu tradition are based upon the precession cycle of the sun going through the zodiac. So we have a 2160 year cycle of uh, the sun precessing through Aquarius, through Pisces and so forth. And if we multiply the 2160 year cycle by 
by 2, we get 4320, which Blavatsky tells us is a magical cipher that we can use to calculate some of these cycles called the Yugas. The Earth incarnates over many vast cycles called rounds or manvantaras in the Hindu parlance. These cycles pour through the various so-called globes, chains, and schemes of Earth evolution. In this diagram of the Earth scheme are seven large circles called chains. Within each of these large circles are seven smaller circles called globes. The planets are called schemes because behind the visible outer planet are a series of worlds in more subtle matter called globes and chains. Now, the rounds are the cycles of time of the various groupings of monads that cycle through the globe and chain of a particular scheme. The rounds extend for a period of 617 million years and they are composed of two manvantaras which are 308 odd million years each. And so there is a certain in-breathing and out-breathing of these manvantaras or cycles of time. In each of the great cycles we call rounds, there are seven root races. Within each root race are seven sub-races, and within each sub-race are seven branch races. Seven times seven times seven equals 343 races, all with their allotted cycles, providing a highly diversified human expression throughout the ages. The branch races, in their turn, give birth to the nations. These rounds and root races provide the physical body of incarnational experience for our Earth Logos. Human souls are light cells within this greater body of God. All the races and sub-races that evolve are seeds for the next level of evolution. Although this is a two-dimensional diagram, we can think of time and evolution as spiralic. In part two of the Hidden History of Humanity documentary, we will review the evolution of the Atlantean root race, giants, megalithic constructions, and the Great Atlantean War, as told in the ancient epic the Mahabharata. Plato's Atlantis is also mentioned as an important source of the ageless wisdom. This will lead us to the consideration of the role of the Egyptian and Mayan traditions and their relevance in modern times leading into the coming sixth root race. This period of awakening is upon a higher turn of the evolutionary spiral to humanity's individualization which occurred in ancient Lemuria when the planetary center known as Shambhala was established. So the reason for this series of documentaries is to really illustrate how the true history of humanity has unfolded and how humanity can be empowered by knowing its true origins and knowing where it stands today in time and space. And this will help people to um, make decisions about their future and to play their part far more consciously within the greater divine plan. Thank you.